The remarkable thing about the Spitfire, considering it's a 1935 concept, 1936 design and completion, is its beautifully harmonised controls in the air. It's quite remarkable, uh, which is remarked on by modern pilots uh, as well. Uh, and um, it is the most superb aircraft to fly because it has seemingly unlimited power. It's handling capabilities, characteristics in the air. It's very light in pitch, heavy in roll compared to the lightness in pitch. It is an aircraft that you actually put on, you become a part of, uh, and it, it really responds to your every, every need. It will not tolerate hand-fisted flying. Uh, and a lot of the veterans, the, the, the fighter pilots who flew our Spitfire, actually quoted as saying, one of them said it's like, because it was with 485 New Zealand squadron and then the Belgian squadron, um, Gabby said, said also it's like riding a good horse, just a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and it goes. And the Spitfire, its only downside, it's, it's taxing, uh, and on, on the ground, that aircraft is designed to be in the air. It's, it's, it's a happy beast on the ground. It is a handful landing, taking off and landing, uh, and ground handling. And the engine management requires a lot of thought and pre-thought, particularly at displays. A veteran said to me that every, every land, every takeoff should be an adventure and every landing a challenge and you'll be all right. And he's exactly right. It always is. It, it is an aircraft that you treat with the greatest of respect and never feel that you are uh, above it or complacent with it. After 800 hours of flying the Spitfire and over 700, dis well, no, 600 displays, um, I certainly never feel that I'm actually uh, I'm on t I'm, you don't ever feel that you're on top of the Spitfire, you're, you're with it, you're part of it, but then you stay within your own operating parameters. If you go outside of that, it can become, like any aeroplane, difficult. Everyone displays uh, Spitfire sort of slightly differently. I start my display with a loop, followed by a half Cuban, followed by barrel rolls each way, and then a head-on, and then carry on with aileron rolls, and then try and show every different angle of this beautiful aircraft to the spectator and there's no point in being low because if you're low the people at the back won't see you anyway so and my son Richard is now displaying the aircraft as well and last year was the first year when he displayed this Spitfire and I displayed the Spitfire and you wouldn't think there were so many different such a different way of basically the same maneuvers looking so different and it is very different his uh, is a dynamic display very distinctive mine is more balletic I do a lot of displays to outdoor proms with orchestras, the London Philharmonic Orchestra, etc., that type of thing. And that requires me to have choreographed the display to the music. 